the year and, and just like, wow, a lot has been accomplished even in the midst of a pandemic and, and mm. just so many different, you know, crazy things happening in our world and in life. But God has continued to bless me, and I'm very grateful and appreciative uh, for having the opportunity to do what I love, to do my dreams. So it's been quite an exciting and and um, humbling journey for me. So I'm so grateful to be here. Wow. Well, thank you for that information. Wow. Um, do you still uh, sing in French, German, Italian, other languages, um, other events? Do you still do that or or not? A little bit. I do. I still do it a little bit. So every now and then I'll, I'll pull out some, some French and Italian and and actually, um, <laughs> there's a little bit of French in my current single. Um, mm. If you listen carefully around the sax solo, you hear, you know, you kind of hear me speaking kind of like in the background, and I'm actually talking in French a little bit. So it's really, I'm just saying the title of the song, um, Sweetest of Melody, but in French. So, but yeah, th- th- those will always continue to inspire me. Um, you know, I've always had a love of languages in college and taking French in high school and just so that will I will always try to infuse different things in my music, you know, whether mm. whether I'm singing R and B, jazz or whatever, I'll always pull different influences, a little French, a little Italian, a little something, just a little you know, just to pull in what I've what I've been around and what has inspired me through my music journey. Mm. Well, you need to quit uh, keep doing that. Uh, it sounds sexy in a, <laughs> a song to me. I love it. Uh, mentioning, Thank you. Uh, Thank you so we're going to talk about the uh, newest single, uh, Sweetest of Melody. Uh, what's the story? Uh, is there any other story behind that uh, new single? And when was it released, may I ask? Yes, it was. That one is easy to remember because it was actually released on my birthday on November the 6th. So okay. that made it extra sweet for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a it was a beautiful duet, and actually, it originally started out as just um, I was just gonna sing it by myself. Um, my producer brought a piece of the idea to me, and then it just kind of registered to me as something very romantic. And I've always wanted to do a duet, so I decided to create that into a duet. And then um, he brought in uh, the the male vocalist, uh, Sengor Robinson. He's out of the uh, Washington, D.C. area. Mm-hmm. Uh, brought him in, said, hey, I, I know the perfect guy to, be, to do this. And um, we sang together a few times. And then there was just a certain magic, a certain quality. I'm like, I really like our voices together. I like... Mm-hmm you know, the connection that we're making vocally and yeah, this is going to be a good fit. It just felt like there was, there was some magic there. So I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this duet and put it together. And then, yeah, I decided I really wanted listeners to hear this and get kind of, you know, the romance vibes, the jazz vibes. You can close your eyes and maybe feel like you're in a cafe in Paris or something Mm -hmm. like that with the saxophone and just really, sultry and sexy and grown, you know, grown folks. Yes. That's what I wanted for this song. That's what I wanted you to get out of this. Just a classic feel good, um, you know, duet, something that you can feel good listening to having a glass of wine and hopefully being with someone who appreciates you. So that's, yes. that's the kind of the meat in the melody and the, the idea behind sweetest of melody. Cause you know, I feel like when you feel that you, um, you know, like love is considered like music, spreading love and kindness. That's music. That's a form of love. So I think the ultimate sweetest ability is spreading love. So that's kind of where the message and where that concept came about. Well, it's my favorite track, Sweetest of Melody. I would like to spin it. Uh, it did get my attention. Uh, it put me in that mood, uh, in that environment. So I appreciate it. Your voice, the melody, the atmosphere, all of it uh, coming from your voice. And um, I appreciate it. Uh, Here is Sweetest of Melody. You stand at Hot Seat, Brina. We'll be right back.
website information and where this music is streaming at, where they can uh, stream it and purchase that uh, single. And I'm quite sure you got some other information about all your music. Go right ahead. Yes, absolutely. Uh, You can find my music. Uh, Of course, it's streaming on Spotify. And you can also purchase my music on my website at uh, at phillybopmusic.com. Dot com, and that's P H I L L I E B O P music dot com. So you can purchase Sweetest of Melody and my previous singles, Made, Worthy, and More Than Enough. Um, I'm also, of the, my music is also streamed on other platforms. You can pretty much purchase it uh, anywhere music is digitally sold. So iTunes, uh, Amazon Music, uh, pretty much everywhere else music is sold. And if you would love to follow my journey, I would love for you to continue. Um, if you are an existing fan or if you are a new potential fan, uh, please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Rena Chanel Music. And I'm also on Twitter at The Rena Chanel. Uh, so, again, yes, please follow, keep up with me, with my music and my journey. And, yeah, I hope to inspire you. And if you are a new fan, welcome. All right. And thank you for that information. Uh, 
any information you would like to tease us about on some uh, future music projects? Uh, yes. So, you know, I know people, at least my existing fans, and I've gotten really good feedback about, hey, when are you going to give us an album or an EP? So <laughs> I am working very hard on a quality EP. Uh, we are looking at March 2022 as a, as a release uh, time frame. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited about this new project because uh, this will be a different vibe of, from my previous singles. Um, this will be more introspective, more reflective, more um, more personal. So, but it will still embody the quality and the production and the vocals and everything that I stand by, you know, with my previous singles. So I'm very excited about that endeavor. And, yeah, I look forward to that. So, the, again, look for that in March of 20- All right. And thank you for that information. Now, the uh, this song, uh, Sweetest of Melody, where is it at on the charts now? Well, right now uh, it is number three on the charts in yes. Italy which I'm super grateful about that. Uh, It's number four on the charts in Canada, and it did reach the top 20 on the UK Soul Chart. So I'm very ecstatic about all the wonderful feedback that I've been receiving from radio presenters, uh, from DJs, from uh, podcast hosts, uh, from different playlist curators, just different people that are supporting and spinning the record. So I'm I'm so grateful for people that are actually supporting uh, the music and, and the listeners as well. They've been awesome. They've been sharing it and, and sharing it amongst their networks and stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really blessed and I'm really happy and excited about the feedback on this on this single. All right. All right. My pleasure. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> so um, I have some other singles I will play at the end of the show. Um, if anyone wants to stay in and listen in on the other music, uh, by Rena Chanel, uh, what's that ultimate desire, Rena? Which you want all your fans, followers out there to get out of all your music, especially uh, this newest single? Uh, yes, I want them pretty much from any single, but for for this single as well, um, you know that. It's okay, you know, love is still out there, and to love yourself, number one, because you can't be loved properly if you don't love yourself. So it all starts from self-worth, self-love, loving yourself, knowing that you're worthy, knowing that you were made for greatness, um, knowing that you are more than enough. And, yeah, the sweetest of melody is just basically enjoying life, being in the moment, hopefully being around people that really connect and get you and love you and appreciate you. So mm-hmm. I just want them to be inspired. I want them to know that it's never too late to, to chase your dream. It really isn't. People tell you all the time, it, you know, they, they want to put all these limitations on you. You know, you're too young, you're too old, or you're too this, you're too that. But it's never too late. I'm a witness to that. It's never too late. Yes, that's right. And thank you for that. Thank you for that information. Um, you are being, uh, featured in a number of magazines. Uh, so can you give us, uh, some names of the magazines that you're in so people can follow up and read the articles on you? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, so with this latest single, it has really opened up some doors and allowed, uh, some publications to, to really, cover the release and to really, you know, write favorable and really good uh, reviews about the music. So it's being received well. Um, 